flat bottom in it, like a you know like a vertical half pipe. Um, and the whole idea is to try to get as high oververt, you know, 10, 11 o'clock. And once you get up in that, sometimes it's just a free fall and you end up just like bailing from the top, coming down on the bottom. But uh, if the pipe's long enough, you can work it. So you can carve like real long lines and occasionally if you search for the right pipes, you find the ones with the elbow at one end. You work your way up there, then you get a big carve, come back down, more speed to get over vert, um, get your thrusters on, set slides. And then there's always a sticker pace in which came from the 70s. You know, try to get your stickers up around 10, 11 o'clock, and you look at from the bottom. This is insane. It's so big. You hear the wind howling through. It's so windy here. Well, it's even windy right now. I think this pipe's totally rad, man. It's one of the biggest, greatest pipes we've ever skated. Tony Farm Boy, what do you think of the big pipe? I'm scared. skate pipes and they're out there but people just don't don't want to look for them they want somebody to draw a map for them on you know look up on the website here's how to get to this pipe and here's what you do but sometimes you just gotta you gotta figure it out yourself yeah do you guys turn it sideways nope oh,